Welcome to B'nai Jacob 101, your cram session and guide to being a part of our congregation. These are not going to be slick, well-oiled productions, I wish they were, but rather practical three-minute videos designed to help guide you into being a part of our community. I'm here at the chapel of our congregation for a reason. This represents the bedrock of B'nai Jacob. This is where our public worship takes place twice a day, the minyan, as it is called. Jews pray three times a day, morning, shafrit, afternoon, mincha, and evening, mariv. You can pray anywhere and in any place and in any language, but the highest form of prayer in our faith is to gather together in a quorum, a group of at least ten, to gather and pray to God. It is a tribute, an honor to be a part of this congregation because of its diligence in maintaining this form of worship. For over a hundred years, B'nai Jacob has dedicated itself to maintaining these daily worships. A lot of congregations in a lot of communities much larger than Charleston fail to maintain Minyanim. And here we are in Charleston, West Virginia, doing it quite well. And we want others to be a part of it and join us. doesn't make a difference whether you're Jewish or non-Jewish. We want everyone to experience the joy of our daily worship and the fact that our congregation is an open community and is open every single day for Jewish prayer. When you come to the chapel, and our services take place at 7.30 each morning, 5.45 each evening, when you come in, the first thing you should remember is to wear a head covering. Men will wear what is called a kippah, a yarmulke. Women, if they'd like, can also wear one or wear something else. But it's traditional to have your head covered to show respect and love of God who is above us at all times. There are other objects that sometimes at certain worships you might see. Uh, a prayer shawl, which we'll talk about it in another video, as well as in the morning service something called the tefillin. And we'll talk about that as well in another video. But really the only thing that you need to worry about is the head covering, the yarmulke. And then either someone, and preferably it might be what's, what is called the shamus or the gabai, the executive director, will present you with a sidur, a prayer book. And that is for use during the minyan. In the sidur, you'll find everything that is being said in Hebrew, as well as on the other side, everything in the translation in the English. In our prayer book, there's also a nice commentary at the bottom, which you can follow along as the service is being conducted. The shamus or the gabai, as I mentioned earlier, who presented you the prayer book, will also be calling out pages throughout the service. And that way you can follow and kind of understand where we are in the service. The person that's up in the front is called the shaliach sibor, the messenger for the congregation. That is the person that is leading services He's really the only person that is going to be playing an active role in the minya, And everyone else is sitting, listening, studying, praying during the service. And we encourage you to be a part of it and experience the beauty of the minyan. Now next time we'll look at the various honors that people might be asked to do during services. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. But if you'd like to, we want to show you what you need to do and how it's a wonderful experience and you'll feel comfortable doing it. If you have any questions that you would like to have answered at B'nai Jacob 101, drop us a line at charlestonrabbi at yahoo.com. See you next time.